life presents us with many challenges. The challenges are very similar to climbing a steep hill. Some of us can walk up without any problems, while others can start up the hill and then have to stop. But still others cannot even begin to climb the hill. The kinds of problems that we face today are workforce development. How do we get a workforce that's qualified to do work? We have increasing levels of poverty that need to be addressed. We have racism, sexism, homophobia, all these things are still present in our society. Many years ago, when I was a child, some of these same problems exist. They are persistent, and though we are making major improvement, they still have a voice and a loud voice in our society. Albert Einstein said that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Well, we thought about that and we said, we're not going to do uh, uh, the same thing over and over again. We have lots of organizations and agencies. So what we tried to do was we tried to look around and see if there was a method or a process or something that we could use uh, that had already been proven, that had already had some success. And so what we ended up looking at or what we came to the conclusion of was aircraft. Airplanes are something that we develop, and, and it, it meets its mission. It takes us from point A to point B with a high degree of safety. And that's really what we're really talking about. What can we do in order to make certain that the things that we put in place meet the mission? So what we ended up doing is creating a fully integrated software a system and uh, uh, social science coming together, uh, and technology. We're doing this in order to uh, create an enhancement for the village. Determined people work together can do anything, and, and that's what we're really starting with. But this whole process that we're going to talk about today is about the methodology of what we're doing, not the implementation. There are some pieces towards the end that's going to re relate to the implementation, but mainly this is the methodology. So we're going to develop a, a unified strategic plan so that, one, that we're all on the same sheet of music, and then we're going to unify that village that we talked about in the opening, and more importantly, we're going to do this without creating a new organization. So we start with, I don't know what I don't know. And that means that we start with a blank sheet of paper, but it also means that we start with an open mind. But we needed to set some ground rules. And it, you probably heard these statements over and over again. Uh, well, that's your opinion, or let's agree to disagree. Well, we put those in red because if that's how you start your conversation, then you're going to have the status quo. I'm going home, and you're going home, and nothing has been accomplished. The other thing that we wanted as a guideline was that uh, everyone is entitled to their own opinion, but not their own facts. And what that simply means is that there's a caution here that we must agree on what the facts are so that we can move forward in a positive way. And the last thing was what we want to do is we want to less collaborate and reach a conclusion. And in our methodology, we call that the triple C's. Conversation, collaboration, and the biggest one, the conclusion. So how do we start this process or this method? We started by doing a forum, but our forum's a little bit different as you can see as this thing unfolds. So the first part of it is, to get an expert panel presentation. So if I'm talking healthcare, I want to have doctors, I want to have uh, people who work at the hospital, people who uh, work at uh, the, uh, um, uh, 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 who work in that field. But we also want to be able to take a look at the other parts of a community that are affected, so that when, when something is being given from the expert panel, the people who have to interact with that, that may not be, say, in healthcare, can also have an input. And finally, we want to bring the community in this. Now, where our forums are decidedly different is that in our forums, we do another thing. We have a work session after the forum. So most forums, you end up, you impart information, people take it home, and they work, on, work for, with it or not. But in our case, we're saying, no, we're going to bring some of those same people back, and now we're going to start working on the details of what we just learned. And so, 
we do that, and we do it in an organized way, and for people who are in the system engineering world, understand that the work breakdown structure is something that relates to or is part of a program management scheme on how do you manage the work that you're, you're going to do. And the other thing that we do that comes out of those work sessions is the interface control document. And that really relates back to what I'm saying about the other entities that are a part of the conversation so that we know how things relate. And after that, we do a, the next forum. And that process iterates so that we're continually looking at the problem and redefining it and getting better and better answers and better and better solutions. So here's how we start. Here are the entities that we talked about. One is civic action. The other one is education, economics, health, social. Now I'm going to stop at social because in the beginning we talked about technology coming in and creating a virtual village using things like social media and, and the like to make certain that we connect. When I, uh, years ago, we used to live in villages, and those villages, people interact. So if a doctor knew that he had someone in his village that was sick, he would just go on over. It wasn't about house calls. It wasn't about going to the office. He knew it may be someone's aunt. The same thing is true with the person who, say, was not, uh, 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 was, was a, a laborer uh, who worked in the area. He may help the doctor in something that happened around his home or, 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 the, or the like. So we take the virtual village in our social entity and make it real by bringing people together. For example, that same doctor may be a bridge player. And so is that construction worker uh, a bridge player. So they come together and they play the game of bridge. And therefore, we now have a reality world, not only a virtual real world. And then we have the spiritual entity and youth. There's a special program on the youth, which we call YCPP, which is a youth civic participation program. It's based on uh, uh, eighth graders and ninth graders and their travel to college, and it is for at-risk youth. So here's what the work breakdown structure looks like. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to, to, we're trying to break work down into manageable pieces. So, Let's say we're looking at economics and we're looking at particularly unemployment. Well, there are other things in economics other than unemployment. There's business development, there's community development and the like. But for this example, we're just going to drill down on unemployment. We have three major categories that we're going to look at, or two major categories, minority unemployment and majority unemployment and others. And once again, this list can extend further out. But then if you take a look at minority unemployment, you're going to look at things like education, you're going to look at soft skills and transportation, and many other things. Well, as we actually did this here in Greenville, we recognized that we could get people jobs in some cases, but they would fail at the jobs. And the reason was that they didn't have adequate transportation. So then we had to take a look at that transportation issue, and we looked at it and we drilled down further, and we said, well, there's a public piece to that, bus transportation, and there's a private piece, and there are some other considerations as well. And as we looked at that, we said that the public sector really is a civic action in terms of can we increase the schedule, and also can we um, uh, uh, get more locations in, in the places that we need. So we, we, we attempted to do that. and. But that's not the only answer. The answer is a private one. We could utilize church vans in a way that, that, that could also help. But there's many, many other things that come out of that. Uh, somebody could start a little business and say, during the morning hour and the evening hour, I'm going to provide transportation. Or we could talk to local businesses and say, let's have a carpooling way. There are many solutions as you drill down. But the most important thing, as you drill down, you get to a point where people become a source and not an object. Because you're defining work at a level where everyone can participate, just like the airplane. You have people who are putting the tires on hubs, but you also have people who are sitting back and looking at the aerodynamic flow over the wings that cause lift, or under the wings that cause lift. So we do have all of these kinds of different skill levels that we're now putting to work. The ICD, as we talked about earlier, is how things interface. If you take a look at those lines, what we're looking at is the development of, of church vans, which in itself has its set of problems or, or concerns, 
such as the insurance and who's going to drive it, the bus and things of that nature. So it all comes together as we continue to drill down. And the most important thing about this is that we're defining work at a manageable level so that everybody can be a participant. And once again, that's the ICD. So what are the takeaways? The takeaways are that people become the source, not the object. That there's an accountability and a completeness. As you look at the work breakdown structure, which is really a part of a, a, a larger uh, system uh, development uh, and system tree, as you look at those things, you start to understand how everything not only exists, but how it relates to one another. We ma minimize risk and we ma maximize efficiency because in this we have, at every level, we have what we call the triple M's, which is metrics, measurements, and milestones. And so we have a verification and validation about everything we do. And what does that also help us? It creates a predictive model for us. What does that predictive model do? Well, that predictive model says, if there's a change anywhere in that tree, we understand the impact. And we understand that maybe we need to do something else in order to resolve the problem. Just as if the, the, the city says, we can't provide more buses. Well, we still now we know how that impacts. So maybe the church or maybe the carpool can pick up the slack. It all ties it together. There is completeness, comp uh, accountability, but it also it has a productive modeling. And finally, how do we get started? There's one implementation for a designated area. And what that means is if you decide that the area like we did was the county of Greenville, uh, you could also have made it the city of Greenville, or you could have made it the upstate. But once you decide on a geographic area, it has to remain in that geographic area. Because one, we're not creating a new organization, we're creating a method. Uh, but two, and most importantly, we're marshalling all the forces that can help solve the problem. And then the, the final thing is, it only takes a few people to start. We started this process here in Greenville with four people. Right? We now have probably 50 or 60 people all working on something, and things like the competency model that will come out in the next month or two. Um, so there is a real benefit in doing this type of thing. And so finally, before I leave you in closing, we come back to the beginning. If we are a determined people willing to work together, if we believe in something higher than ourselves, and if we understand that we have a responsibility to each other, we can have more and more people climb that hill. Thank you. Thank you.